Okay, Paul, so let's start off on the Tuesday with uh, Tamaris and the Supreme. How do you think the season's gone for him so far? Right, it's gone well. He's unbeaten. He's won all three starts. Started off at uh, Chepstow. Um, then we progressed to win the listed race at Haydock and then he won the grade one. Tarworth at Sandown at Christmas. So, yeah, it's gone really well. Very happy with him. Has the North Wheeling Racing Club been down to see him before Cheltenham? And how are they looking going into the festival? Yeah, they're looking forward to it. Obviously, they get a video most weeks of him, but they are actually coming on uh, Thursday morning to see him work in school. So, yeah, they're very interested and love coming to see him. And uh, we've got Breaking Halo and 300 through 5, both going for the Ultima? No, uh, just 300 through 5 are running that. Um, it's one at Cheltenham before it. He's owned by Max McNeil, who's Ultima, so they're looking forward to him running. And obviously Max McNeil, it's his race as well, so he's obviously desperate to win it. And I think he said as well, maybe the Grand National afterwards? Well, he's entered in the National, but that's a long way off yet. I think it might be a year too soon, we'll just see. OK, and Affordil, uh, he's in the Boodles, he ran no sort of race last time, but has looked impressive when winning uh, his two previous starts. How is he? Uh, he's fine, I mean, I ran him too soon after Musselboro, but I had to get a third run to qualify for the race. I meant to sort of doing things we didn't really want to be doing, but he ran and ran a bit flat. So if he comes back to his best, he'll run in the Boodles. If he's not, I'll wait for a novice handicap at Ascot in a month's time. And probably your best chance of the week, Hermes Allen. Um, he's been probably one of the most impressive horses this season, and it's um, probably your best chance at the festival. He's got, I think we've got some nice chances. He's short his price one. It? That's what the bookers probably think. Now, he, again, he's like Tamaris. He's been progressive, won all three. Started off when at Stratford, then he won at Cheltenham. So he's got course form and then um, won the grade one um, at Christmas at Chalot and Newbury. Yeah, yeah that Chalot hurdle's worked out really well. Yeah, like, yeah. The form's really yeah, strong. Yeah. He must be really happy with that. Yeah, it was good. It's, it's looked good and he won very nice. He looks a very good horse, yeah. Um, the Coral Cup, Red Risk, Irish Hill, Outlaw Peter, are they the three you're going to look at? Um, Outlaw Peter won't get in, he runs at Wincanton on Wednesday. Red Risk will run, um, he'll definitely get in. He, he was beating a short head in the Lanzarote the last time. Uh, ran well at Newbury and won before that. Probably got plenty enough weight in my view, so we'll try and claim off him. Uh, Irish Hill, if he gets in, he'll run. If he doesn't get in this, he'll go in the Martin Pike. Right, Grenatine, obviously it was a bit disappointing last time out, uh, but Obviously, that champion chase division, they've all been beating each other this year. So does it, what sort of chance has it got this year? Well, he ran just the same at Newbury two years ago. A bit disappointing and then went to the champion chase. He'd only beaten two lengths. He's, he's a good horse. He goes strong. I'm not saying he's going to win the champion chase, but it wouldn't surprise me he ran well and finished third or fourth. Um, the Shetland bumper, are you likely to run anything? The Captain there? Teague. Captain Teague, yeah. yeah um, he, he's a progressive young horse. Um, he won his only point to point in Ireland. We bought him. He won his only bumper at Plumpton. I'm not pretending he's going to win a Shetland uh, bumper or another, but if he, he ran a tidy race. He was fifth or sixth, somewhere around there, and then he'd go novice hurdle in next year. Stay star. Um, he's looked very good this season. It must be brilliant for the owners' club to have a, a real live chance going into the festival. I mean, imagine the day on Trials Day when they had the two winners there. Uh, him and Hacker Laplace had won. They, were, they had a, just the most amazing day, and anything on top of that's a bonus. Look, those novice chasing stage star and are really, really tough, but he won on Trials Day, won nicely. I expect he'll run in the Turners and. Uh, Got, got an outside chance. Not the handicap route? I, I need to look at the weight yet. Obviously, it's a, it's a bit early to see what else is in there. You know, if he looked like he had a nice weight, could be competitive, he could go in that. But um, I'll probably run Il Rodito in the plate, so I don't want to take him on. In the potential, you have Sabrina and Jetta Magic. Are they both right to run? Yeah, Sabrina won't get in. She's too far down there. If I just put her in because she was qualified. Jetta Magic definitely runs. And yeah, he's a progressive horse. He ran well at Chant early in the season. Wouldn't want the ground too soft. Obviously, picked up. He doesn't go to the festival. No, so. he's not. He'd, in the Ryanair, the only run will be a hitman. Yeah, obviously, he didn't stay the three miles no, at Kempton. No, ran well, so. He ran well enough the other day at um, Newbury. Um, yeah, Shiskin's going to be hard to beat in that race. Do you, what, what do you think to Shiskin's run the other day? He, uh, obviously, I, I a lot think, of people talk about Gold Cup or do you go champion chase? No, you don't. You stay where you are. That, that distance, you know, it, it, the Gold Cup, he's not proved he's a three and a quarter mile horse yet. That's why he's only winning over two last year. <laughs> if he did, did anything out of the box, you might have gone back for the champion chase. But he looked so good over two and a half the other day. Stick to that. Um, and it, he'll be hard to beat. And I'm sure you wouldn't want him running the Rhino. You want him to go elsewhere, so it's oh, no, yeah, a bit of a If he runs there, he runs there. I am keeping Pick Dory nice and fresh for entry, which might help him. She's going to have a hard race at um, Cheltenham, but, you know, as I said, yeah, Hitman, he runs solid, good, solid race. He always thereabouts. And yeah, tough and obviously, obviously it could be a big week for Alex and Jed. Um, yeah, they've got some lovely really, runners. Really, really nice owners. And obviously, it's going to be a big week for them. We obviously uh, protect her in the Gold Cup as yeah, well. Yeah, I know they've got him in the Gold Cup as well. So we have a lot of banter about that. And uh, you mentioned Elwood Dodo. He's run three times at Cheltenham this year. 
uh, finally got his uh, head in front. Um, front running tactics. Well, it was suited that him. The, 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 the way the race suited, you know, he was in a good place. We had cheap pieces on, jumped well, travelled well, got a chance. <laughs> Look at the big race, obviously, you've had so much success in the Gold Cup. I know you don't like comparing them to the Demons and Catos, but how does this guy behind you stand up? Well, look, he's won King George, and the horses that win the King George, I've had two of them, Seymour Business and Calder, won a Gold Cup. He, he, you know, he's at the top of his game at the moment. He, he's in great place. Um, he's got a lovely chance, you know. Gold Cup's hard to win, very hard to win. We know that. I've been there enough times. But he's got a lovely chance, in my view. Do you think this is one of the strongest Gold Cups in a long time? <laughs> Every time we go into it, everyone says they are. And often you get a race, everyone says before it's the strongest, and afterwards it was the weakest. Uh, look, any Gold Cup's going to be hard, because you've got the best of the best in there. Yeah, and obviously let's look to the ground. Obviously we don't really know what's going to happen. There's been no rain around at all. What would he want it on Gold Cup Day? Uh, good to soft to be perfect. I don't think he want extremes. And uh, let's, let's look at the Irish horse that's coming galloping the jumps. What did you make to his run last time out in the Paddy Power Gold Cup? You know, he won that nicely. He, he, you know, he, he probably deserves to be favourite, but it, there's a question mark with him. He hasn't been three and a quarter miles like this, lad, but I'm sure they'll get it. You've had 46 Cheltenham Festival winners. Which one do you think you'll be your 47th? Oh, I've no idea. It'd be hard. I mean, any, any one of those, I'd be delighted. I think you have one win at Cheltenham, you've done well. Anything on top of that is a bonus. And I reckon we'll probably have 15 or 16 runners. Will you probably have that in the first day? Um, so, you know, if you can just pick one out of those. I mean, the race I'd love to win more than any all week would be the Gold Cup, obviously.